Good day, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Crafted by Tim. Um, today we're filming at my school. Behind the camera, we'll have Hasnane. Um, you can go check him out on SK Productions. Link in the description below. Um, so today I'm going to be making a oil lamp out of what you see basically in front of you. Behind this glass is a 80 millimeter diameter circle cut from a piece of mild steel sheet metal. Short section of 45 millimeter round stock used for making the top cap. 35 millimeter diameter pipe cut to 100 millimeters. A strip of mild steel, 30 millimeters high and 125 millimeters long, with eight and five millimeter holes drilled into it and shaped into a circle 40 millimeters in diameter. 68 millimeter circle with a 13 millimeter hole in the center. 45 millimeter circle domed with a ball peen hammer. A 6.5 millimeter diameter rod, 60 millimeters long. Two 6.5 millimeter diameter rod, 130 millimeters long, with 15 millimeters of one end flattened. And four lengths. 155 millimeters long, cut from the same 6.5 millimeter diameter rod. Yeah, I'm currently welding the ventilation section and the top part of the lamp. This consists of the base plate, the ventilation section, and the domed top. So what I've got here is the two handle pieces, um, and then I've got the top piece that's going to be for the, uh, the actual handle. So what I've done is I've basically just flattened this out with a ball peen hammer. Um, I'm going to start by welding this on, then I'm going to cut this in half and slide the handle over. The reason why I'm not welding it with, the, uh, with this wooden handle already on it is because A, it would be very difficult, and B, um, I don't want to burn the wood as it's already got a uh, coat of linseed oil on it. Um, for the ends, I've just countersunk them, so any excess weld isn't just going to be butting straight up against the flat, uh, the flush cut wood, if it was flush cut. It makes sense. What's that for? You so see? This is going to be the replacement cap because I didn't actually think that these lathes were going to work today. Okay, just a little bit more. So, for this, uh, for this next part, now that we have this cut, um, and it fits. Uh, the next part is and it fits. And the next part is to weld on these four lengths um, and then we're going to weld on the top. these rods welded on as straight as I could, as I could possibly yeah. get them, I'm going to weld on this cap. Now I'm only going to weld it on by two points, that way I don't end up with a bead over the top of these other two points, which is where this is going to go, like that. And I've, and I've already gone to the liberty of cutting this in half, so I can easily slip the handle on and off as need be. And just before we go, quick test fit and everything fits together more or less wait hang on so where'd you get the glass this is how you get the glass got everything I need um, basically I've just wrapped some uh, cotton thread around Blah, can't speak cut off the excess so don't have too much now, you're meant to let it soak in the, um, 
nail polish remover or acetone, it's actually called. Um, but I don't actually have a container for that right now, so I'm just gonna dab it around. Now oh, stuff makes my nose feel funny. Okay, I've tried this once before, but with a square bottle, and that didn't work very well at all, so... Okay. Now we just turn it until the flame is mostly gone out. Make sure that you remove the cap before doing this, otherwise you're going to have a bad time. Okay, it didn't actually cut it at the line that I was hoping for, but it did crack it right around the base, so let's see whether I can pop that off. Perfect! Well, almost perfect. Still kind of warm. Um, yeah, now to do the top. So same process again, I'm just going to try a different knot this time, whether or not it will work. Haha, <laughs> whether or not, uh, full of the puns today. Alright, so this seems like enough, I'm just going to grab Access. Oops. Fast. Slide up. Be careful that you don't get um, acetone on your hands when you go to light it up because I'm not sure whether you saw that, but my hand just caught fire. Okay, let's go. I heard a solid crack. Oh, didn't go all the way around. Might actually have to do that one again. Yeah. Oh, well there you go. <laughs> didn't need to. So right now I'm going to be making the um, thing that you use to put out uh, the lantern. So what I'm going to be st doing is starting off with this just piece of rod. Let's do this. currently I've welded a piece 
of uh, scrap metal onto the top and that's what I'm cleaning here. I'm just going to clean this up around the edges and on the uh, top where it got a little bit of slag on it. It doesn't look too bad. I mean, it looks kind of crappy, but you don't look on the inside, it doesn't look too bad. Anyway, I'm just going to do a quick test run on this and see whether this actually works. And so it does. Sweet! Okay, so now they're all done. Quick clean up with a angle grinder and a lensha. Yeah, yeah. And we are done. And one more thing, just before I go, I went to Red Rooster today because, I don't know, I was feeling hungry. And, and I, I asked for a, uh, a Mount Franklin, right? And he was like, a Coke? And I was like, no, no, a Mount Franklin. And he was like, a Fanta. And I was like, no, no, water. And he's like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He gives me this, lightly sparkling. No, they're not the same. No, don't do that, no. Red Rooster, man, shame on you. Shame on you.